My name is Alvin Darian II. I'm from Savannah, Georgia, and I moved up here 18 years ago, and I was looking for something. I was that college student that did not know exactly what it was on the other end. I'm so thankful when I moved here, I found this company, and they believed in me. Not only believed in me, they gave me a shot. How many of you know people that are going through the motions right now? You know, you go through the motions of life, and sometimes that can create some pain. The pain of remaining the same is greater than the pain of change. If you don't change something, then nothing will never change. Sometimes in life, we gotta feel that pain immediately so that we don't have to face it later on. Now, let me share this with you. If you go back to your very first paycheck, do you remember your age when you had your very first job? Some of you was 15, some was 16 years old, and some was probably 17 or 18. But I can tell you this, fast forward till today, you learned some things, right? You made some mistakes, you made some decisions. But I got a question for you. If you can go back in time, what would be three things you do differently? Did you have a financial coach? Did you have financial education? Or were you just going through the motions of life? Here's the good news right now. You have, starting today, a brand new you. Are you ready for a brand new you? Starting today, you have a coach. Starting today, you have education. Starting today, you have mentors. People are living to age 100. We don't have to do a health study. Hallmark card sells more happy 90th birthday cards and more happy 100th birthday cards. So that's a clear indication right there. Now, so many people are in accumulation stages right now. They are accumulating their wealth, and they're only thinking about making money and accumulating wealth. Well, here's the news. You're the youngest you're ever going to be right now. And you may have the most energy you're ever going to have right now. So as you build your wealth, there's going to come a point in your life you got to make a decision. And it's called retirement. Retirement used to be an age, but now it's how much money you have. So when you hit retirement, what does it look like? Does it look like you're going to be having a great time and vacationing and spending time with your grandkids? You know, the baby boomers are driving Teslas now, and also they have what? They have iPhones. So it's not like it was back in the day. But then you come to distribution. See, a lot of people overlook distribution. They only worry about accumulation. So at distribution, I have a few questions for you. How many checks do you plan on having coming in at retirement? How much income per month do you need to support your future lifestyle? See, your future lifestyle depends on the decisions you make today. And that's why you got to have your FIN number. Do you know your FIN number? See, your FIN number is just as important as your Social Security number, just as important as your date of birth, just as important as your height and your weight. And I can tell you this, too. It's just as important as your blood pressure reading, too. It's that important. So what does FIN mean? Financial independence number. You heard Tom talk about the rule of 72. I want to share with you what I call the rule of 25. So what is the rule of 25? It breaks down exactly how much money you need to save so that you can be financially independent. So let's take your FIN number equals your annual income times 25. Pretty simple, right? And if you want to re-engineer it, you take your FIN number divided by I mean, times 4% equals your safe withdrawal rate. Well, let's take a look at it. Let's look at it with numbers. So you have 50,000 times 25 will equal 1.25 million. So this, in this case, the financial independence number is 1.25 million times 4% SWR equals 50,000 a year. Well, do you know that the safe withdrawal rate has changed over the years? So now people are living longer. Does your money last longer? Or will you run out of money? Don't be the person that run out of money when you're 72 years old. What happened to him? He just ran out of money. <laughs> you, you don't want to be that person with long-term care needs and no money. Something to think about, right? So let me tell you about this. We got to educate and educate people. We had to design our own financial education system, our own financial education schools. And every school got to have a book, right? So we have the How Money Works book. How many of you know that every time somebody reads that book, they get ahead financially? Every time you read that book, you learn more about our company. You, you learn more about our mission. 
Do you have the mission in your heart? Do you want to teach people? Do you want to help people get ahead financially? See, we got to go from information to education, from education to implementation. See, when you implement a plan and you go through the seven money milestones, it's going to be life changing for you and your family. Not only you and your family, but for your legacy. Can your money last 100 plus years? Well, let's talk about the seven money milestones. The first one is financial education. Here's a question I have for you. Where did you learn money? Where do most people learn money? The second one is going to be having proper protection, making sure your family is properly protected. I believe that there's dream insurance and also money insurance. Dream insurance is long term care. Money insurance is life insurance. And see, the next one is going to be an emergency fund. Here's a quote that I love. Your failure to plan does not constitute an emergency on me. See, most people won't plan, but they'll call you up and make their emergency your emergency. And so many people don't have an emergency fund. Here's another thing to consider. How did you handle your last emergency? How did you handle it? And then the next one is debt management. Make sure you become debt free. So many people want to be debt free, but don't know how to be debt free. So why people are in debt? We buy things we really don't need to impress people who really don't care. And it leads me to the next one. My favorite one is cash flow. More money coming in, less money going out. I'm not sure if you know this yet, but I'll tell you. We get paid every Tuesday and every Friday. Every Tuesday and every Friday, we get paid for, for helping a family. And that increases your cash flow. And I'm going to share with you in a second how to increase your cash flow. The next one is building wealth and protecting your wealth. you got to build wealth just like we just talked about. Because if you don't save money, you will not have money in the future. And if you don't save money, money will not save you. So here's our seven money milestones. Now, let's talk about cash flow. There's four ways to make money. I'm so thankful that I read this book at the age of 24 years old. It's called The Cash Flow Quadrants by Robert Kiyosaki and Sharon Lecter. Let me share this with you as well. The first way to make money is to have a job, be an employee, work for somebody else, have a nine to five, have a 12 to eight, maybe a third shift. You go to work every day, not liking it, no passion. You're there for a check. And then you wake up 20 years old, 30 years old, 40 years old, 50 years old, 60, 70 years old, grown man, grown woman, don't know what they want to be when they grow up because they're so busy working for somebody else's dreams to come true for their kids. The next way to make money is to be self-employed. A doctor, a lawyer, a real estate agent, somebody that provides a professional service to people. If you don't go to work, you don't make money. That's how it works. The next one is a business owner. A business owner must have a system. No system, no business. But why in Atlanta, and maybe in the city you live in too, people get it confused, right? They're like, I have my own business. It says, um, you know, Tony's Lawn Care. You know, not picking on Tony or anything like that, but Tony's Lawn Care. How many trucks? How many lawnmowers? It's just me. Well, you're self-employed. See, a business owner understands a system is designed to scale a business, not only scale a business, to be profitable in the business. Then the next one is to be an investor. Have your money work for you. You got to make sure your money is working for you. Money doesn't get tired. Money doesn't get sleepy. Money doesn't call into work sick. Money works 24-7. So are you ready to transform the way you make money? So many people are stuck just on employee. They don't know the other ones. How did you feel when you found out about the other ones? You're like, wait a minute. They didn't teach me this in school, right? Well, I can share this with you. We're different by design. We're different by design. So many people won't get ahead in business because of these four reasons. Fear of failure. They fear they're going to lose their income stability. They got to give up their income stability. You know, no proven system, no product, and lack of capital. What if we can eliminate this? So let's break it down some more. We're going to give you the tools, the training, the mentorship, the leadership. You're going to get a financial coach, a business coach, a social media coach. We're going to walk with you part time with flexible hours. We're going to work around your schedule. We're going to give you the education you need. We're going to give you the systems and operations you need to run a company inside of a company and low risk. And it doesn't cost much to get started with us for the cost of a license and a background check. And I'll close with this here. 
Do you know what financial freedom really means? When you hear the word freedom, what comes to mind? You sometimes in life, we got to jump out of our security, jump into our freedom and let our freedom build our new security. Thank you for your time, everyone. <laughs>